finds this man painting with a push broom? Because he's Ed Clark, an abstract expressionist who has swept the American... I met Clark, a painter, artist painter, you know. <laughs> Although I have in my life painted apartments, so did de Kooning for money, right? <laughs> I wanted to make a big stroke. In fact, I'm in Paris. I couldn't find brush wide enough for what I wanted to do, right? A house painter's brush is about this wide, right? But not that wide. And so I was thinking maybe I'll put two together and whatnot. And then all of a sudden I went to the Mona Prix. That's like, like they five and dime. And there they had a brush in there. That's for the cleaning ladies. Product of the art world of the 50s, Ed Clark is from the action painting school of thought. Now, in case you don't know a lot about art, what that means is that when he walks across his canvases, push brooming many colors, he is incorporating physical movement in his work rather than sitting and painting conventionally. The reason for his choice of a broom is that it provides more body energy than a paintbrush, more speed, and more force. Where do you think you'll be in the future? Or what do you think you'll be doing? To keep painting, of course, and to keep trying to make that that picture, that, which I haven't done yet. You know that movie, The Hunchback of Notre Dame? That looks like the man who played the hunchback right there. <laughs> That's me and my sister. Yeah, I love my mother, right, you know. About my dad. When you're in Louisiana, you try to get up to Chicago. You know, because it's a richer city and pass. The big thing was race. Well, certainly when I thought of Van Gogh, I didn't think like, well, he's just an artist, right? And I remember though, the first time I had an experience that it was really upsetting to me. It was a group show I was in with a lot of artists that were, were named artists. And some of them, it was called Ron Toile de Montparnasse, big paintings, big, big works. I was always painting at large. And Le Monde, which is the newspaper over there, right? It was a little review. Said the wall of wrong talent. Black with a lot of talent. And so I wondered, why did he call me black? And then I found out why, because it was shown at the American Center in Paris. I think every artist wants to create something beautiful in the world. I do. But I'll never be satisfied with what I've done. That's because I'm striving for perfection. I don't think there's anybody better than me. I would have had problems against Picasso. But he's unbelievable, right? But I'll give him the 20th century. I'm determined to live 10 more years. I'll be remembered for the 21st century. Then I'll go up or down or nowhere.